I am Mr. Botuo. Tatsujin Sarah has noticed that there are two basic paths of Bonyu. One called the Path of Anju, or what is known as the Path of Solitary or Recluse. The other is called the Path of Akuta, or what is known the Path of Many or Numerous. This is not to say a Tatsujin must follow one path exclusively, but as a Tatsujin practices Bunyu, there is a tendency to follow one or the other at any given time. With the path of Anju, a Tatsujin faces gyms by themselves. As such, they must be able to crack a gym single handedly. This requires the Tatsujin to be able to mount a significant force against the gym at any time. This is where amassing large amounts of foot soldiers from Pidgeotos and Raticates come into importance. Of also importance is to keep multiples of different high CP value types or special forces. Finally it becomes of critical importance that such a Tatsujin keep an ample supply of healing potions available for battles will easily consume them. This is why those who practice this path tend to go after easier pickings such as gyms which are no more than three levels. With the path of Akuta, more than one Tatsushin work together to take on gyms. In doing so they pull the resources together and are able to take on much larger gyms using greater CP valued Pokemon. This also allows the Tatsujin to reduce the costs of potential healing potions since the battle is spread out amongst more than one Tatsujin. The path of Akuta also allows the Tatsujins involved in attempt to build a gym to stand the test of time by placing powerful Pokemon there after they have cracked the enemy gym. While Tatsujin Sarah tends to follow the path of Anju, she has noticed some battle strategies that might be of help to either path. Mark your foot soldiers you plan to routinely use in battles as favorite. This way you can easily sort by favorite to find these Pokemon faster during the heat of battle. There is general lag in the game depending upon one cell network, cell phone, and other similar issues. As such it is better to just finger smash through a battle versus trying fancy moves or switching out Pokemon. When taking on large gyms. Those five or more levels, sometimes a Tatsujin has to do more type matching to knock out the lower levels first before you can proceed to knock out the upper levels with common foot soldiers. Don't waste the dust on powering up low level Pokemon like Rattata. Save your dust to level up higher level Pokemon, i.e. Elites or special forces you get, especially when you are lower in level because it makes a bigger difference later on. Mark those you plan to level up with it one in front of the name so you can easily sort by name to find them. Catching Pokemon results in 100 dust per capture. This can add up quickly in a day. You also get a lot of dust way more than fighting a gym at times when you hatch an egg. Use this dust to power up those special forces and elite forces. One strategy is to concentrate your dust power-up efforts on just one or two Pokemon in your army. But this strategy works well for those following the path of Akuta where costs are spread out among many. For those following the path of Anju it is best to observe how much candy one has per Pokemon and how much dust one has in total and then make a decision who to power up. Sometimes that might be just one Pokemon and sometimes it could be spread out. Tatsujin Sarah tends to power up those who are the weakest to bring them up to par first then go from there. Those following either path will have to from time to time take a break from cracking gyms and simply walk about catching Pokemon and visiting Poke stops to regather supplies. The efforts of cracking gyms can exact a heavy price on healing supplies and a Tatsujin must at times reconnect with the spirit of Banyu. Like the Senguko period of Japan there is a cost to any war and with Pokemon Go there is also a cost. If one thinks of the Poke stops as villages from which one obtains supplies to wage battle against the gyms. The problem is these villages will amply supply a Tatsujin with the ability to build an army i.e. Poke balls but the healing of the Pokemon is another matter. Here the supplies are weak at best, so any Tatsujin must realize there is a price to war. Sometimes one must give the wounded foot soldiers to the professor reserving healing supplies for elites and special forces. What follows are a series of Pokemon tables that have been developed from internet sources. 
The tables show maximum CP and maximum HP, but because the exact details of the game are technically unknown, these figures are for the most part just estimates and should be taken as such. HP, CP is the ratio of max HP to max CP. Potions is the number of regular potions to heal fully. Cost factor is a ratio of potion over HP, CP. Tables are sorted by cost factor, which closely corresponds to max CP. Tables are arranged in order from groups from the no-dust group to elites. The no-dust group are mostly your Pokemon you are farming and using as placeholders for gyms after collecting your fee. These units are simply collected so as to achieve dust. Go up in levels through the use of lucky eggs. And are not really used for battle purposes. Common foot soldiers are those Pokemon that are used in routine battles. They are for the most part considered disposable in nature as more can be made or gathered. This is especially true for Pidgeotto and Raticate which form the basis of most armies as they are the most common Pokemon that can be evolved. Dust can be used to increase CP value. But only after other forces have been rationed first. Special forces are used in battles to help crack harder gyms through type matching or just sheer raw or CP. These forces you will want to spend some dust on improving the CP values. Elite units are typically found in gyms. These are the ones you will want to spend your dust on first and foremost. This is especially true if one is planning to build a gym to stand the test of time. This is the last lesson of Bunyu for now. I am Mr. Botuo, the humble scribe of Tatsujin Sarah.